Hi, this is Asin. You are now watching Asin Mac TV. Today, we would like to share how to solve this differential equation. When we come across trigonometric function where the angle is the sum of two variables, we can consider to replace it with a new variable, let's say z. And the next step is to differentiate both sides with respect to x. When we differentiate x, we obtain 1. Differentiate y, we obtain dy dx, which means that dy dx is equal to dz dx minus 1. And now substitute the two equations that we obtain into the differential equation, which means that we should have dz dx minus 1 is equal to cos z. Let's rearrange the equation by moving minus 1 to the right. Remember, when we change the side, we should change the sign. In our reverse, minus becomes plus, and this is simply equal to cos z plus 1 divided by 1. From here, we should say that I should group this as a single term. And now, let's split the variables with z on one side and x on the other side. So we should have 1 over cos z plus 1 dz is equal to 1 over 1 or simply 1 dx. Now let's integrate both sides with respect to the corresponding variables. To continue, I will first apply trigonometric identities. Consider the double angle of the cosine function which is equal to 2 cos square theta minus 1. Let's rearrange and we should obtain cos 2 theta plus 1 is equal to 2 cos square theta. By comparing, what we need here is z instead of 2 theta. If we let z be equal to 2 theta, which means that theta is equal to z over 2. Therefore, we should replace theta with z over 2. And now rewrite the equation. So we have integrate 1 over 2 cos square z over 2 dz is equal to integrate 1 dx. Recall that 1 over cos theta is equal to secant theta, which means that we should have integrate 1 over 2 secant square z over 2 dz is equal to integrate 1 dx. And now we should be able to integrate both sides. When applying integration, the coefficient of the variable should remain exactly the same. When we integrate secant square, we obtain tangent angle remain z over 2. When we differentiate z over 2, we obtain 1 over 2. And then multiply with the coefficient of the variable. But then this is integration, which means that instead of multiplying, we should reverse the process that is divide. So we have 1 over 2 at the denominator part. And now for the right hand side, integrate 1 dx is equal to x. Remember, since this is integration, we have to add a constant c. Let's simplify, we should obtain tangent z over 2 is equal to x plus c. Let's take the inverse of the trigonometric function and we have z over 2 is equal to or tangent x plus c and z is equal to 2 or tangent x plus c and we can now replace z with x plus y and then this is equal to 2 all tangent x plus c. Move x to the right. Remember, when we change this side, we should change the sign. And our reverse plus becomes minus. And don't forget, y is the angle of a trigonometric function. And this, we should obtain exactly the same value for every 360 degree or equivalently 2 pi. Therefore, we should plus 2 pi multiply n where n is any integer to indicate every 360 degree. And hence, we done. Okay, that's all for this video. Thanks for watching. Hope you like this. See you.